Hi guys, I'm so happy you guys are back. Um, today's lesson is going to be very short and it's actually more of a review on what we've been learning in these past um, few videos about the number line. And we're being asked to put the following numbers in descending order. Okay, and descending means from greatest. I'm actually used to doing this. I tell my students, cross that word out. You understand what it means and just write it in the top. Descending means from greatest um, to least or from the biggest number to the smallest. Okay, and these are numbers here. Negative 4, negative 1, 0, 1 half, 3, and negative 2. So I'm just going to take our biggest number, which is 4, right? I'm sorry, it's not 4, but uh, what I'm saying is to create our number line, up to where should we make it up to? So um, 4 is, is, is the biggest absolute value, I guess you could say. And I'm going to create my number line on both ends, going up to 4 and going up to negative 4. So I can make sure that I could squeeze all these numbers in there. So I'm going to put right in the middle, I'll put 0. Then it would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then to the left, I want to make sure that I get all the way up to negative 4. So I could plot that one in there. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. And so here, this is interesting because now we have a mixture of fractions, integers, and positive numbers. So let's start by plotting um, neg the, the ones that we do know, and then we'll, we'll leave the fractions probably for last, or the fraction till the end. Negative 4. You guys are negative 4 sides. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. It's right here. So we're done with that. Negative 1, we're going to move to the left of the 0. Remember, you have all your negative numbers to the left of the 0. Don't forget that negative sign. It's very important. It changes the value of the whole entire number. Then we have 0 there. And then after 0, we have 1 half. So from the last video, I don't know if you guys remember, but um, let's use our strategy. No, duh. Our denominator tells us how many equal parts you're going to have to divide our whole into. So the number one half would be two, would be between zero and one. And that tells us that we're going to have to divide our whole into two equal parts. So I'm just going to put a line here. You guys see the two equal parts? That would be one equal part two. There's two spaces in between the whole number. And the numerator tells us how many skips we're going to make. So one half would actually be right here. This one's one half. And our next number is positive 3. That's 1, 2, 3. And last but, lo last but not least, negative 2. It's negative 1, negative 2. Okay? And now that we've put on our number line, now they're in order from the smallest number, the one that's furthest to the left, the smallest number, to the greatest. Okay? Whenever you're asked to put any numbers in descending, ascending order to compare and order them, a number line is a great, great strategy to use so we could put them in order. Now that we've plotted them all on here, they're in order from the smallest to the greatest, from the biggest number, which is 3, to the smallest, which is negative 4. But we're being asked to put them in order from greatest to least. So if we're reading the number line from left to right, from the smallest to the greatest, and now it's asking us to list them in order from greatest to least, we're going to start off with our biggest number, which is 3, and we're going to list them going down this way. Okay? So 3 would be our biggest number. Then after 3, we have 1 half. And after 1 half, we have 0. You guys see that? After 0, we have negative 1. After negative 1, we have negative 2. Then after negative 2, we have negative 4. So here are our numbers in order from greatest to, to the smallest, greatest to least, or in descending order. Okay, I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, please go ahead and ask me. Um, if you're struggling, try to go back and see some of the other videos that I've created because this lesson kind of builds on that. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Thank you very much. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with somebody else, or subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a good one.